Here is a very good forecast question for the exam based on osmosis. Explain the process of osmosis in the chili pepper below. Five marks. You can try this yourself too. Take a chili and cut it longitudinally into many strips that are still connected at the bottom here. Huh? Next, soak the chili in tap water. After about 30 minutes or more, you can see that it starts to curve outwards. The strips start to curve outward away from the center of the chili. And then after an hour or more, you can see that the chili strips have really curved outwards away from the center. And uh, this is the so-called chili flower that is used in uh, for decoration on food. Now, can you answer this question first? Pause for a moment before I look at the answer. Now, let's look at the answer. So, firstly, mention what type of solution is the tap water? Is it a hypotonic, isotonic, or hypertonic solution? So, in this case, the tap water is a hypertonic solution. It's hypertonic to the cell set of the chili cells. Now, you must mention cell set, uh, the set, because you must compare the tap water to the solution in the cell, which is the cell set, okay? Not just hypotonic to the cell. So the tap water is hypotonic to the cell set of the chili cells. Other solutions which are hypotonic can be distilled water or any very dilute solution, okay? Now next, explain what happens to the water. Water diffuses into the cells of the inner surface by osmosis. So for the chili strip, there are two surfaces, okay? The inner surface here, which is pale red, and the outer surface, which is very shiny and covered by the waxy cuticle. Now for the inner surface, there is no waxy cuticle covering it, so the water diffuses easily into the cells by osmosis, causing the cells of the inner surface to receive water and expand and lengthen and become turgid. However, for the outer surface, which is shiny, the epidermal cells are actually covered by a waxy waterproof cuticle. Now we, here, okay, represented by the yellow line. So for the outer surface, water cannot diffuse into the epidermal cells, the green layer here, because of the waxy waterproof cuticle that prevents water from entering the cells. Thus, the epidermal layer acts like a control. It doesn't expand in size, okay, because it doesn't receive any water. Thus, only cells of the inner surface receive water and expand to become turgid. Because of the difference in length of the inner layers and the outer layers, outer layer. Therefore, the chili strip will curve upwards. Now, you can see this, this white part here is longer uh, than the, this inner surface. Inner layers are longer than this green epidermal layer. Okay? So, the strip curve upwards away from the center of the plant, of the chili.